I'm going to have to, uh, why can't I go, what? <gasps> oh, okay. Hey guys, CS here. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Dark Reign, The Future of War. Uh, this is Mission 8, The Desiccator. Um, and I thought at first this mission was going to be a difficult one, but I, I played through it once already and yeah, it was, it was kind of hellish. I was attacked a whole lot, um, bit of a struggle, but then I realized that there's, there might be a way to do this without so much grief. So I'm going to attempt to do this um, through ways that I found progress the mission a little bit more quickly. Um, so let's get the briefing. Imperium researchers on Krollbad developed a weapon called the Desiccator, as you saw in the intro of the game. The chemi this chemical catalyst consumed water molecules and could decimate all life on the entire planet in a matter of minutes. As the weapon was nearing completion, the Imperium made plans to move it from the research facility where it was developed to Korobad's capital, where it could be transported off of the planet. The Freedom Guard learned of the weapon and the Imperium's plans to move it and then attacked the research complex in an attempt to intercept the device before the Imperium could get it off Korobad. So, Imperi uh, Freedom Guard half the mission. What we have to do is destroy the Imperium base and prevent any evacuation of the Desiccator from the area. The Desiccator is like this little white uh, vehicle looking thing. It's a weird shape too, it's kind of like a seashell. Uh, you, you'll see. Um, but yeah, so what happens is once we attack their base, the Imperium may attempt to evacuate the device, so we have to make sure they do not escape. So, let's get to it. Alright, we are given a gracious amount of, uh, of units here. And whoop, my game speed is set really high. Let's go ahead and start building up our base. Uh, let's get you down here, because there's Talon down there. Um, and then we will continue on. And pull back some of these things that aren't quite military. They got some recon drones floating around for some reason. Uh, and there is a water over here which we can probably take quite easily. It's just guarded by one of these neutron accelerator towers, which isn't too bad. Let's take that out real quick. Let's go ahead and um, grab this water. Screw you, Imperium. Okay, let's see. Hello. Okay, so that's done. Let's put a few forces out front just to defend this and a few forces down here because they're going to attack from both of those directions. Um, we need, whoops, what's going on? Okay. We just got to secure this entire area pretty much. Uh, let's get a war launch pad up here. And we will get to building some defenses. What's going on here? Alright, here we go. We gotta set up some, uh, defense... Oh, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. What? Was that a... Wait a minute. Is he sitting right here? Oh, my God. Okay, so in this mission, the Imperium have access to scarabs, which are these, um, artillery units. So we definitely have to be mindful of that. We need, we need defense up here. ASAP. We need to build a bunch of towers. Build one over here as well. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to keep these guys safe inside there. I'm going to need those in a moment to do the second part of my plan. Um, okay, sorry. I just got to spend most of my time right now making defensive structures. Uh, it's very important because the attack waves... I think they're going to be quite great once they finally... Come through. Oh, we're running on power. I need another power generator. Alright, let's upgrade this assembly plant. Let's get a second assembly plant. Our towers are under construction. Unfortunately, we do, we do not have access to artillery. Only the Imperium does in this mission. So, let's see how that goes. Let me keep my forces back a little bit. Oh, look, there's a 
camera tower right here. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get a second one of... Okay, once I have the money, I will get a... A second... One of these. And we need a repair station. Uh, what else? I should probably get a... Third one of these towers. That would be a decent idea, maybe. Maybe I'll put it right here. Yeah, I'll put it there. That'd be fine. Okay. You guys get repaired. Okay. Things are going all right. Let's upgrade this phasing facility. And I'm on power again. <laughs> Let's start cranking out some triple rail hover tanks. You know, they're one of my favorites. And here comes the Imperium attack waves. Let's see if we can not lose this tower here. Okay. Looks like we did a decent job defending against that. Bunch of shredders running around wild. Oof, really? There we go. I can I can force this thing to attack one tile outside, and it will have enough area damage that it actually hits. I do that for that. No, nope, I'll have to wait until he comes into range. Okay, so let's uh, speed up the game a little more because we want to um, get our production. Oh, oh, wait. Let's not speed up the game more. <laughs> let's take this a little bit slowly. Uh, a lot of stuff going on here. I think we are holding this together rather nicely. Okay. And now, uh, let's see. Alright, gotta wait for some more water. Build a few tank hunters as well, because why not? I keep checking this, the health status of all my... Uh, my defense towers, because that can change really quickly. Okay. Yeah, lots of Imperium attacks here. And their artillery is a real pain in the ass. <laughs> okay. So just waiting on some more water. What is that shredder doing? Get out of my base. Alright. Okay. We have braved several attack waves so far. Uh, I think it's about time to um, get these guys loaded into the phasing facility. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this phase runner, which is a little underground transport. It's like an underground phase transport, uh, which cannot be detected by the enemy. And we can use it to go explore halfway across the map, which is really cool. Um, let's see, I'm actually going to position a bunch of units down this way. Because I think the... Guys, can you not... Position them down here because I think the desiccator is going to attempt to escape. Uh, this way once we attack their base in a few minutes here. Um, oh, I got damaged. Uh, okay. So, build a few more units here. Speed this up. <laughs> oh yeah, so the phase runner. This guy is gonna go over here. Actually, you know what I should have done? I should load this as a scout first, because otherwise it's going to be really hard to see what we're doing. Oh god. <laughs> uh, let's see. You know what, let me, let me put this back for now, and um, actually, can I? I don't even know if I can dock it. I think I, I have to unload whatever's in here. In which case, I know there's a, um, I found out from doing this mission last time that there's some artillery out here, over here, which we need to take out. Because they eventually will become a problem. Uh, if I can remember where that is, I think that's up here. It's on this ridge. There we go. 
Let's slow this down and. I'm out of present for you. <laughs> that's literally the, that's one of the only ways to get up on this ridge is by doing that. So that's fun. Um, all right, let's make more hover tanks here and speed the game back up. I think uh, things are going relatively well. Nothing is burning to the ground just yet. Okay. So the phase runner is back once again. I'm going to create a scout so I can see what we're going to be doing. I'm also going to make these guys go down here. Go ahead and put them down here with the rest of these guys. And uh, okay, that that should be enough for when they attempt to evacuate the desiccator. I don't think they're getting through that. Okay, so now we're gonna have the scout transform into a tree, and we're gonna stick this in the phasing facility. And just need I need to get an idea of what's going on over here at their base. So. I wish I had some anti-air towers I could deploy. They don't give you access to that in this mission, else I would get these freaking recon drones out of here. They're just... While they're harmless, they're just a little annoying flying around. Alright, so we're building up our tank squad still. Uh, as for this... Let's see. Where am I gonna put this? Um, okay, there's the desiccator research facility. So... Put that here. Okay. So see, they didn't, they didn't even notice I just did that, because <laughs> they're stupid. If I move it one inch, though, they're going to see it and destroy it. But now I have sight on some other stuff. Uh, their artillery platoon. This is the Desiccator Research Facility, and the Desiccator, I think, is somewhere... I don't know. It might be hidden from view right now. I'm not sure. Uh, but the, notice, they have a lot of power up here. So we want to try to take out that power first. That's going to be essential uh, in this mission. Or Actually, what we should do is use some infantry to take out the artillery first. Now there's also there's a back door through here as well. There's a bit of a back door we can use to um, attack these uh, look at how look at how long the artillery range is. From all the way over there they're firing at my tower. Is that not annoying or what? <laughs> artillery has an obscenely long range in this game. Like, it is, is a ridiculously long range. So, it, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and load these guys in the phase transport. And we'll try to take care of that remaining artillery as much as we can. Let's get back all over here. And we'll see what we can do. Alright, whoops, we are burning up here. <laughs> Really? There we go. I got it. Just make it force it force attack one tile over. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and let's slow the game down a bit, and then we're going to see what we can take out here. There we go. Oh yes. Might as well just attack this thing while we're at it. We'll get destroyed in a moment. Yep. Kaboom. Okay. Uh, now we have pretty much open access to that back area. I don't think they have any proper defensive structures back there. So we're going to go ahead, take our main forces. And even if they attempt to evacuate the desk here, we'll be fine. Now there's also a hover water over here. I keep calling them hover waters, but that's my best way to refer to them as. Water in the middle of uh, nowhere, and we have to... I could probably build some hover freighters right now to take that but you know what we don't even need it like we're gonna do just fine here taking out their power um because this is really the only power area they have i can believe up oh, here you die they'll probably tell me in a moment that they're because i did this last time and that yep the imperium is attempting to evacuate the desiccator destroy the desiccator transport All right, so we got to, uh, we're going to slow this down a little bit. We're going to look down here. Oh, crap. What happened to my 
units. They all got destroyed. <laughs> That's not good. I only have this one guy to, uh... Alright, well, let's see what we can do. They can get down here fast enough. Because if I, if I fail to, uh... To destroy the desiccator in time, that'll be end of mission. I cannot let it escape. This should be enough, though. Usually it att attempts to escape through the field over here. Should be... Not be an issue. Oh, did we get him? Oh, I think we... Oh, there it is. Boom! <laughs> Alright. Desiccator has been taken care of. So that is no longer a worry. Now we just have to finish up, uh... Destroying the rest of their shit here. Should probably go back and repair these guys. Um... But actually, you know what? We're fine. I think we're totally fine. Now that we have no power, I can just try to take out these neutron accelerators. Because they are virtually defenseless. With no power, the neutron accelerators are like really shitty. They fire like once every while. <laughs> Alright. Let's take out the rest of this stuff, shall we? So yeah, normally I don't think the mission is supposed to be this easy, but with what I figured out the first time playing this through, it's actually not that bad. Normally what they, they want you to, you know, progress through the entire map and take out all the defensive towers along the way, but this is kind of a more strategic way to do it. And I mean, it makes sense. This is a, this is a strategy game. You're not supposed to always brute force your way to doing these things. Um... Alright. Alright, we took out everything on the main islands. Let's, um... I'm gonna go back around. Take out this camera tower. Speed up the game way faster. Produce a bunch more stuff. So on this island, they have some facilities. We can build a bunch of these guys actually to help take out those recon drones which are still flying around. Death to all Imperium structures. Okay. So, nothing left there. Let's go and take out the camera tower. Okay, uh, they got a bunch more, a whole bunch more defense around here because they expect you to come along this path and you know initiate your assault this way. But we absolutely did not do that. Yeah, okay. Um, bunch more tanks here. Here we go. Yo, let's get down here and eliminate the rest of this crap. I think that's most of it, though. All right, there we go. That was a a speed run. Uh, the Freedom Guard half of this mission. Um, your courage is admirable. Thanks. All right, so uh, back to uh, the Imperium side of this mission. So, what we have to do here is the, um, the Freedom Guard are in midst attack. They're about to, you know, finish destroying the Imperium base. So what we have to do is evacuate the Desiccator. We have to move the Desiccator to the rendezvous point re and rebuild a base and eliminate the Freedom Guard presence. So, um, yeah. We have to get this thing out of here. And I gotta slow down my game. Uh, th this, this, this base is as good as dead. So, we, we just gotta get the, get the hell out of here. <laughs> There's the desiccator. We need to evacuate. Now, every time I've tried to evacuate going that way, I get killed. So, you know what? I'm just... I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go the... Take the back door route. Um... Because there, there's no way I can escape through there. We're gonna have to escape a different way. 
uh, by going through here, but I have to avoid the Freedom Guard has a lot of towers along this route, so I have to make sure I do not uh, get involved with that. No, don't att stop attack! Oh my god! Do not at no! Do oh god! god. Ah! <laughs> stop attacking things! <laughs> that is not helping anything. <laughs> All right, I think we, I think we've gotten to where we need to be. Okay, here we go. So here's our reinforcements. Once we get the desk down here. There we go. Now take these reinforcements and reestablish your base. Once you've gathered enough forces, crush the Freedom Guard invaders. Okay. Um, sounds good enough. I'm gonna take these construction rigs, stick them in there. Uh, take these guys and stick them in there. Um, and then we will be on our way. Destroy that while we're at it. Okay. Alright. So, since we have hover capability, we can just go around this entire island. Somehow we still have a camera tower in place down here. I don't know how that's possible, but okay. Maybe there's another little back door over here. So, uh, let's get this base up and running. Uh, let's see, so we got water here. Let's, uh, let's unload these. Okay, I need the... Alright. Oh, thanks. Uh, okay, that goes there. This goes here. And these will go up here, of course, near the tail. I'm going to have to, uh, why can't I go? What? <gasps> oh, okay. <coughs> Didn't know that. <coughs> Dying, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, alright. Let's start by, you know what? I'll put the power over here for now. It's not a big deal. And we'll build that there. And I guess I, I could use the ta- I could use these tanks to take out the- Maybe one at a time. Oh god, this, they still have a bunch of stuff up there, man. What the hell? Alright, well, let's collect some water. <clears throat> this did not happen last time I played the mission, but I guess it's not something that says that the mission should play out the same every single time. Which I guess is kind of refreshing. Um, let's see what I can do about this. I'm gonna need to, uh... Let's see, I need to get... The power generator there. Have to wait till I have enough forces to uh, to combat that crap. Speed this up a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's get this headquarters upgraded. And we also need a we need a, we need a repair station ASAP. Put it, uh, I'll put it right there. Okay, so now we have access to neutron accelerators. Let's go ahead and stick one right here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, let's put one a little closer, like right here. Okay, so they don't see that. Uh, once this is complete, I'm going to lure them over. Let's also get some defense down here as well, because I know they're going to kind of take this route as well. Right here, let's try to lure them over. Are they, are they not lurable? Apparently, they're just they're going to be stuck there. That's fine by me. Um, I'm going to upgrade this, and... Wait till I get some more towers here. And let's put one over here as well. And maybe over here as well. That should be enough, I hope. Alright. 
So, almost have this uh, assembly plant upgraded. But hopefully we can... Uh... There we go. Okay, I need more power, of course, because someone is blocking my access to Talon. <clears throat> Alright. So wait for some more water here. I think that's a decent, decent amount of defense for now. Uh, I'm going to load some guys in a transport and see if we can that'll help us take out the tanks up there. This thing repaired. Okay. You go in. There we go. That helps a bit. Alright. I think we should be able to lure these guys now. fix this low power situation at some point. Till then, keep on building. Kind of working with really minimal resources right here. Definitely need to get more water ASAP. their forces. Um, still have low power. Well, that we will correct that very soon. Once I'm able to collect the tail on. And also, I'm gonna start building some scarabs as well. Scarabs, scarabs, which, crap, I forget what that stands for. I'll put it on screen in editing, but that stands for something I totally forget. Uh, those were our artillery pieces. They were very useful for defense in this mission. Okay. We have to liberate our Talon. Okay, is that everything? I think we finally cleared everything out of here. You guys get repaired. Uh, let's go grab some Talon. And it's gonna, I'm gonna build a second one of these as well. And... Yeah. Now, chances are they're going to they're going to attack again up here with more triple rail hover tanks. So, what are you guys doing here? Get back here. Um, I'm going to start putting up some defenses around that water because we can really use that water. So, I'm going to uh, go ahead and well keep these guys in the center here. Wait for some more water to come in. That's kind of why I need right now. I'm going to build a, uh, a hover freighter once I have money. Right now I'm running very low on money. Fun fact, you can actually, you can position units and press T and have them turn in a certain direction. That way they are ready to attack. In that way, without ha is, there's sometimes a split second wait for them to you know turn around or whatever. But if you know which way the enemy is going to advance from, you can just select your units, press T, and tell them to wait in that direction. Okay. Yeah, I almost got another scare about here. God, this water is taking forever. I really need to uh, to get some more water soon speed this game up as much as possible. Now, the Freedom Guard have been ominously quiet since their initial attack, which means they're going to send us a, uh, a shit ton of things in a moment. I should probably repurpose this other freighter to collecting tail on. So let's uh, make that happen. <laughs> kind of slow going here at the moment. All right, here we go. To make hover freighters, let's make three hover freighters. Uh, and that way we will be having a decent amount of income from that. 
All right, so we got our artillery squad ready if we get attacked. We'll use that for def- Don't you go that way! All right, you know what I'm gonna have to do here? I'm gonna have to use the paths menu. There's a way you can set waypoints for, uh, for units. So that they go the right way. There we go. So now, now his path is gonna be go to the water and then go up here and then go back here. So that's actually a very useful um, tool. I don't often use the, the paths menu here, but it's a nice feature of the game that should be made use of, use of especially in this mission. Otherwise, they're gonna go all the way around this way, and that way is not as safe. Believe me. So, okay. Got more water coming in now. Going to do the exact same thing with the other hover freighter. I'm going to make sure that it, you know, goes a reasonable path. Alright. Okay, adjust the path. Oops, I didn't mean to delete that waypoint. I meant to do two and three. There we go. Of course, he was already in the process of doing something stupid. That's fine. All right, so now we should be getting a decent amount of water in here. Uh, you know what? I think we have enough scarabs. Five should be good. Okay, now we just build up our tachyon fleet. And wait for uh, for the attack, or we will come to them. Either way, I'll put a few more up here because I I fear they're gonna come with a massive squadron of uh, of hover tanks. So we'll just um, we'll just wait this out. Unit completed. Speed this game up a little bit more. Don't like to waste a lot of time. Okay, and we are pretty much full on our power output now, which is lovely. So yeah, now I just gotta wait for more tanks to be produced. Alright, again, the Freedom Guard have been suspiciously quiet. Like, really quiet, and there's been not a peep out of them. Uh, you know what I might start doing? is I might start attacking them with uh, some of their center island stuff here with artillery because their artillery are well within range to do that. So let's get a recon drone. And if we don't, if I don't screw up and, you know, get hit by that anti-air site over there, we can go ahead and destroy some of their stuff with artillery. Look at that. I love the sound of them when they fire too. <laughs> it's awesome. So this is going to outpace the repair rate. Actually, it looks like they're not even repairing the structures. What? That's weird. Did something go wrong with the AI? Alright. Uh, so let's go ahead and attack that. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe that the Freedom Guard are dead AI right now. I, I think they're just saving their... Uh, their attack squad. Alright, let's go ahead and position more guys up here. Alright, so their water launch pad is gone. Let's take that out now. So, I did attempt to take this island uh, last time I played this mission, and it did not go well. In fact, I think that was the trigger point where they finally attacked me. Uh, so I, I don't know if I want to do that again. Uh, let's here. Let's do that. Okay, so we're getting a lot of money here. They keep building tachyon tanks, because you know me, I love tachyon tanks. One of the best units in the entire game. After a while, the sound of the interior can get a bit annoying, but, you know. Um, alright. <clears throat> So far, this is going, uh, quite well. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, gotta make sure they're just within sight range. Okay. So if they don't attack us, heck, I'm gonna attack them. I don't care. 
Okay. Uh, now the I don't think the uh, the, the artillery does not have enough range to get to hit, to hit that one. Uh, see if there is anything else we can hit here. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Actually, I am wondering if their AI just died. Did I just get lucky and the AI died? They're not doing anything. They're not even produ are they producing anything? Maybe maybe um Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on here. But I'm going to attack them and see what happens. Let's go take a look over here. Whoop, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, we got a bunch of tachyon tanks. So this might be easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, let's find out. Um, it's going to be my tachyon squad. Reduce the game speed a little bit. And they have some towers up here, but it's really not much. Okay. Okay, we are in. Oh crap, they do have a bunch of stuff. Although it looks like that stuff was just already set with the map, so I don't know if they've been producing a whole lot. Or anything at all. This is very odd. I don't think this is supposed to happen. But hey, I'm not complaining. It means we get through the mission a lot faster. Oh boy. <laughs> Sniper disguised as a rock. I love it. Apparently the, I don't know, the mission script, I may have broken the mission script somehow. I don't know. Um, Cause there, last time they built a lot more stuff. Uh, so I was, I don't, I don't know. Either that or everything's set on a timer, which we haven't yet. Um, which hasn't gone off yet. I'm not sure. Either way, I guess I should be pleasantly happy that this is, uh, going so well. Let's see, I'm gonna try collecting water from down there and see if they start freaking out at that point. We're gonna try to... Wow, you guys are dumb. <laughs> Let's see, let's start collecting the center of water and see if they freak out about that. They might very well do that. Where's my where'd my squad one go anyway? Oh. Okay, you guys go ahead and repair. Let's put the game speed back up. And um Yeah. Stealing all the water. <laughs> okay, I wait for these tanks to get repaired. And we're gonna go in again. <laughs> okay. So, not a peep out of the Imperium. This is, uh... Oh, the Freedom Guard. Excuse me. This is quite odd. Alright, let's take the healthiest guys out of there. Alright, let's go! If they're not gonna resist us, let's just trample them. Why am I, I don't know why I'm going this way. I should really uh, just be going back door that I paved. Slow this down a bit. Okay. I'm actually kind of disappointed. Hmm. Seems the uh, their script broke somehow. Oh well. 
No, normally the, the Freedom Guard build like a shit ton of units and come at you with a shit ton, but they, they didn't do anything. Huh. Almost well, makes me want to replay this. Oh well. Maybe it's because I uh, evacuated the Desiccator uh, a way that I wasn't supposed to. I don't know. And that didn't trigger them enough. Uh, where's the rest of their power? They must have another power plant somewhere around here, or these things wouldn't still be firing at me. Guess I'll go back and repair them. Take this squad. Um, okay. So I need to I'm gonna use these guys to take out that training facility. God, this was this wasn't supposed to be so boring. <laughs> I was expecting massive attack waves, but eh, whatever. I guess some sometimes it's gonna be a flub. Oof. Okay. Well, we're just about done with this now. Just gotta find the, uh... Where's that other power plants? Definitely another power plant around here somewhere. Aha! There it is. Okay. Let's get that out of here. And then... Turrets will have power no more. Alright. Clean up the rest of this. Okay. What else they got? Oh, they got this thing left. I think that's the very last thing. To destroy. Well, there we go. That was boring as hell. <laughs> huh. Why did they not build anything? I, I don't know. I, I broke the mission script. There you go. I don't know. Maybe that's a known bug. I have no idea. That did not. That's not how it went the first playthrough. That it was way more difficult the first time around. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this regardless. Um, and next time we are doing mission nine, the cure. Um, so I'm looking forward to finishing this game soon. Until next time, this is CS, signing out, bye.